today, I am sharing about faith because it is something that I wish I had understood better sooner. I hope that sharing these thoughts today will be helpful to you. So what is faith? Growing up in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, faith was often explained as like a small seed that when planted and nurtured would grow into something large and solid, like a tree. To me, this parable, which is taught by Jesus Christ in the Bible, was hard to understand for a long time because it never really explained exactly what faith is. Later on, I learned that faith is trusting in our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. So now, whenever I read the word faith in the scriptures, I often replace it in my mind with the word trust. Faith is gained by taking righteous actions, such as daily prayer, scripture study, and making and keeping covenants. Faith, faith is the first and most important principle of the gospel of Jesus Christ. As stated in the fourth article of faith, we believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are first, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins, fourth, laying on of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. I really liked how faith was explained on the Church of Jesus Christ website under the topic of faith. Miracles do not produce faith, but strong faith is developed by obedience to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In other words, faith comes by righteousness, although miracles often confirm one's faith. Faith is a principle of action and of power, and by it, one can command the elements, heal the sick, and influence any number of circumstances when occasion warrants. Even more important, by faith one obtains a remission of sins and eventually can stand in the presence of God. All true faith must be based upon correct knowledge, or it cannot produce the desired results. Faith in Jesus Christ is the first principle of the gospel and is more than belief, since true faith always moves its possessor to some kind of physical and mental action. It carries an assurance of the fulfilling of the things hoped for. A lack of faith leads one to despair, which comes because of iniquity. Although faith is a gift, it must be cultured and sought after until it grows from a tiny seed to a great tree. When I think about my own faith journey, I think a lot about how I practice faith in my daily life. For me, faith is a choice. It is choosing to move forward despite roadblocks and hardship, trusting that things will work out. It is trusting in God even when things don't go the way I plan. Faith is relying on the Lord heavily and carrying the knowledge that God has my back and hope that everything will work out in the end. I know that I am only expected to do the best I can and that God has a plan for each of us. I know that when I put my faith in the Savior Jesus Christ, He will lead and mold me into something greater than I could ever become on my own. Let's dive into the scriptures and see what developing faith can do for us. Before we begin, I just wanted to explain briefly that in my faith, we believe that Jesus Christ himself leads the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints through a living prophet. Our current living prophet is Russell M. Nelson. We believe in the Bible, but we also believe that the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus Christ. It is a record of a people that God led out of Jerusalem just before it was destroyed about 600 years before Christ was born. The Book of Mormon was re recorded by God's prophets in the Western Hemisphere, just as the Bible was recorded by the prophets in the Middle East. The Gospel of Jesus Christ was restored to the earth in the early 1800s through a teenage boy named Joseph Smith, whom God called as a prophet and used to return the truth of who we are and where we came from and where we are going back to the earth. In these study sessions, I will be referencing both the Bible and the Book of Mormon. Okay, so we're gonna start out in the Book of Mormon and the Book of Nephi. We're gonna look at several scriptures that explain more about 
um, what faith can do for us. And so the Book of Mormon um, and the Book of Nephi is the first book in the Book of Mormon. It's about a family that God led out of Jerusalem right before it was destroyed, about 600 years before Christ was born. Um, and so what's happening is um, Nephi, who is the youngest son, his father is a prophet in Jerusalem and he was trying to warn the people of destruction, but no one was listening. And so the Lord said, okay, take your family and leave. We're going to take you to the promised land because you're righteous. Um, and so Lehi, which is the father, had this magnificent dream of the tree of life and of things that are going to happen. And he, and he was also told that, you know, he needs to take his family out of Jerusalem. So what's going on is Nephi, the youngest son, he wanted to know what his father saw. He wanted to see that vision. And so he, what did he do? He asked the Lord to show him the vision and he had so much faith that the Lord did. And so what's happening here is in this vision, um, he is, Nephi is being shown the time of Christ. Um, and so it's talking about this verse that I'm about to read is talking about, um, the 12 apostles around the time when Jesus Christ is there. And it says, and these 12 ministers whom thou beholdest shall judge thy seed and behold, they are righteous forever for because of their faith in the lamb of God, their garments are made white in his blood. So these 12 ministers are the 12 apostles and they will become the judges of the people of their time at, at the last judgment. Um, and I love the part where it says, for because of their faith in the lamb of God, their garments are made white in his blood. So this is explaining to us and giving us more insight into how we can be cleansed through the atonement. We're cleansed through our faith in Jesus Christ. I think that's just so wonderful and profound. And I, I love the book of Nephi because there is so much information about faith. Um, and it's just amazing because Nephi, if you read it, Nephi, or if you have read it, Nephi had so much faith that he, like his father was very old, he kind of helped, he helped his family reach the promised land when his father got old and um, helped try to keep his family together. And it's just amazing the faith that he had. Okay, so next we're going to look at 1 Nephi chapter 7, verse 12. In this verse, Nephi is reminding us that we can accomplish anything with the Lord's help if we have faith in him. It says, Yea, and how is it that ye have forgotten that the Lord is able to do all things according to his will for the children of men, if it so be that they exercise faith in him? Wherefore, let us be faithful to him. He's reminding us to be faithful because all things can happen and are possible with God. Okay, so this last scripture is found in 1 Nephi chapter 10, verse 17. And it's in that moment where Nephi heard what his father was telling him and his family about this vision that he had seen. And Nephi was... In that moment he had so much faith he said this is what he said and it came to pass after i nephi having heard all the words of my father concerning the things which he saw in a vision and also the things which he spake by the power of the holy ghost which power he received by faith on the son of god and the son of god was the messiah who should come I, Nephi, was desirous also that I might see and hear and know of these things by the power of the Holy Ghost, which is the gift of God unto all those who diligently seek him, as well in, as well in times of old as in times that should manifest himself unto the children of men. So, Nephi was desirous that he could see and hear and know of these things too. 
And so he just went forth and asked God because he knew he had so much faith and such a relationship with God that he knew that he could, that God would show him. Um, but the main thing, thing that I want to get out of the scripture, I want you to get out of the scripture, is that it says, And also the things which he spake by the power of the Holy Ghost, which power he received by faith in the Son of God. This scripture is telling us that we receive the Holy Ghost through our faith. And the Holy Ghost is such an important thing for us because it's how we communicate with God. It's how he communicates with us. Nephi saw that vision through the power of the Holy Ghost. Lehi saw his vision through the power of the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost, we cannot be in contact with God. And so first, in order to have that, we have to have faith in Jesus Christ. Um, I love these scriptures and I hope that these things that I've shared with you today have helped you understand faith a little bit better. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Um, and I look forward to sharing more about faith directly from the scriptures. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so that you won't miss the all the other cool videos I'm going to have coming out soon, especially my... Um, faith series. So hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.